Hey everybody, it's Mark Pruitt here with Strategic Estate Planning Services for another strategic money tip. I wanted to talk to you today uh, about a, a, a topic I get asked a whole lot about, and that is buying a car, should I finance, should I pay cash, which one should I do? And uh, of course, everybody, there's really no wrong answer, but there is more strategy into it. So I wanted to try to give you things that I look at for my own family, for my own self, and then how I've actually negotiated uh, for a car as well. And I'm, I'm going to share with you what was shared with me by a old automotive salesman pro a long time ago. And I've done it for all of my cars, my daughter's cars, Della's car, my, my truck. Uh, it's the way I negotiate now, it's, uh, and it's saved me lots of time and lots of money and lots of creativity as far as the way it can be done. So the first thing, should you finance, should you pay cash? The simple answer is today, money is cheap, uh, at least right now. Uh, we expect that to be cheap for a while, uh, but because uh, I know the Fed, and it's a disconnect, but the Federal Reserve said they're not going to be raising rates until probably 2023, and if they do, it's going to be very slow increments. And when you hear that word increment, that usually means it's about a quarter of a point at a time. So I tell people if it's under 3%, you may want to look at financing. If it's over 3%, uh, you probably want to look at trying to pay cash as best you can, if you can. But uh, if you've got the ability uh, to leverage dollars, that's really what it's all about. So here's under 3%. That's kind of the measuring mark of should I finance? The answer might be for you, yes, if it's under 3%. There's a lot of 0% out there right now. So this is the main point of the strategic money tip that I want to share with you today. When you go into dealers today, they will ask you just as you're walking around and looking at things, or if you're talking to them over the phone, or if there's an email, and they'll say, how, how are you thinking about buying a car as far as financing? Are you going to trade one in? Uh, are you going to uh, pay cash? Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? And so a lot of times we will casually tell them what we're going to do. But by doing that, it is giving them information that will affect the price that you're going to pay. So number one, you want to make sure that you tell them in the beginning, I'm going to look at cars today, see if there's one that I like. If I find one that I like, I'm going to do one thing. We're going to talk about one thing, and that is the price of the vehicle. We're not talking about financing. We're not talking about anything, trade-ins, cash, whatever it is. We're talking about a car that I like. If I find one, the, the price of the vehicle that you're willing to sell this to me for. And you need to know up front, I'm going to go to other dealers. I actually did this on my truck. And so I, and I, today, it's so easy today, I didn't even have to go in. I literally put three different places online, three different dealerships, and I told them, I'm going to three dealers, I'm getting three quotes. You need to give me your best price. I got the best price that I wanted for my truck uh, after dealing with all three of them. Uh, got rid of one, that he was the highest, got rid of the second one, went into the third one, and I said, okay, here's the price of the truck. You've given it to me in writing. Now I'm going to tell you how I'm going to pay for it. I've got a trade-in of an old truck. I've got cash, and I'm going to finance, finance the rest at 0%. So I did a mix of all three. He looked at me, and he said, you could see the look on his face. He's like, uh, we can't do that. He said, because we can't give you 0% on that price. I said, well, go get your, your manager because you've already put it in writing to me. The manager came over, looked at the price that was in writing that I had, and he said, we have to honor that. And so what it did is helped me be empowered versus telling someone up front because what it would have cost is $2,000 more 
that I would have paid had I did 0% financing. So by telling them that I'm just going to talk about the, the, uh, the price of the vehicle and nothing more, that gives me the power. It will give you the same power as well. So remember, don't talk about trade-ins, don't talk about cash, don't talk about financing, talk about one thing only, and that is the price of the vehicle that is their best offer. Uh, another good thing that I do is I go on Consumer Reports as well, consumerreports.com. You can actually go in there, subscribe for like 10 bucks a month, uh, and then you can delete it if you choose to. But I go and look at repairs. They'll tell you what the invoices are. Uh, we want them to make money. Just like any business, you want them to be uh, to make money. But you don't want to be gouged. And so there's a difference there. So you got to know what are the invoices, what are the, uh, the bottom line cost of the dealerships. They're getting uh, different kickbacks and things from, from the manufacturers as well that are producing those vehicles, whether it be Ford or Toyota or GM or any of the others. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's a great strategic money tip as far as how to negotiate for a vehicle, and that is strictly real simple, the price only. Then you can tell them how you want to pay for it, and it'll make it a lot easier. You'll save yourself some money and walk away with a good car. Thank you for being here. God bless. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us for today's strategic money tip. If you have any questions about the material covered in today's video, or you'd like to speak with someone from our team, simply call our office at 1-800-381-8870. Also, while we have your attention, click the link below to watch our latest video. And to see more videos on tips just like this one, make sure to click the logo to subscribe to our channel. On behalf of the team at Strategic Estate Planning Services, thanks again for watching.